The electricity generated from scuffing your feet across a rug could charge your body with more than enough voltage to shock your little sister growing up. And as many of us can relate, the unexpected surge of energy that goes through your body after touching an electrical wire, only to find out that you had forgotten to shut off the breaker, is more than enough to get your attention. We've all experienced the awesome power of electricity on a daily basis. And to be honest, it's often something we take for granted. Just flip a switch and there it is. Hundreds and sometimes thousands of volts of electricity swirling all around us. Electricity that powers street lights, homes, businesses, and everyday essentials for our jobs and our enjoyment. We don't have to read by the light of an oil lamp when the sun goes down. And eating by candlelight? Well, it's rarely done out of necessity, but rather something reserved for a romantic dinner. But, like most good things, the luxury of power comes at a price, especially in the workplace. That's why the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, also known as OSHA, has set up safety-related work practices regarding electricity and energized work sites. These are practices for those of us who deal with high voltage equipment and are meant to prevent electric shock and other injuries related to direct or indirect electrical contact. There are numerous precautions that should be taken when dealing with energized environments, but knowledge about one in particular could save your life. Electric arc flash, in its most simple definition, is a short circuit through the air, one that has the potential to be a very large short circuit through the air. Now, as you can imagine, this can cause extremely dangerous conditions. So, over the next several minutes, we'll explore these conditions and share the regulations that are in place to protect you and help you identify whether or not you are at risk 